All right, guys, so we got another opening here. Another domino has fallen in the college football coaching dominoes. South Alabama head coach Cam Womack is headed to Alabama to be the new defense coordinator there. And that kind of limits on what South Alabama could hire because this kind of makes it look like, you know, you would almost rather be a power five coordinator at one of the big schools than be a group of five head coach. So that's going to limit your pool probably on who you can bring in. But we've got about 10 names here that I've seen thrown around already from various sources. And we're going to break this down, break down these 10 candidates. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you my prediction of who they will hire and who I think they should hire as well. So let's go ahead and break down the candidates here. First off, Major Applewhite, currently the offense coordinator, former, former Houston head coach, former Alabama, Texas OC. So definitely has an interesting background. Uh, this would also help you probably be able to keep some of the players that you have had on your roster because, you know, now you got to recruit your own guys. They get a 30-day transfer portal window once their head coach is gone. So would you hire Applewhite because of that so you can keep the guys in-house? It's definitely an intriguing option. I think it's also a pretty solid option. He had so-so success at Houston, followed up Tom Herman when he went to Texas. So didn't have, you know, the best – circumstances you know i mean it's a tough follow-up right there but i definitely think you could do worse than applewhite next up tommy reese alabama offense coordinator so i can confirm he interviewed for the alabama head coaching job and the arizona head coaching job was apparently in the final three for arizona uh i don't know if he would go down to south alabama you know because like i said that sometimes now you would rather be a power five coordinator than be a group of five head coach but he definitely is interested in being in a is interested in being a head coach, as you can see. Like I said, he interviewed for Arizona, interviewed for Bama reportedly. Now, he's also been in Notre Dame as the offense coordinator, so he definitely has an interesting and pretty impressive resume when you look at it that way. Uh, and he is interested in being a head coach, so would he make that jump? I don't know, but he is looking for a job at the moment because Alabama hired uh, Ryan Grubb as their OC. Next up, Zach Arnett, former Mississippi State head coach. Okay, so he got fired – this season took over for Mike Leach after his passing didn't do the best job at Mississippi state. But if you're looking for somebody with power five head coach on their resume, because sometimes in a coaching search, that's all an AD cares about is, is somebody a sitting head coach or does somebody have power five head coaching experience? That's something sometimes I look for. So definitely an interesting option, but I don't know. He didn't give me the most confidence by looking at how he did at Mississippi state, but also Sometimes guys just aren't cut out for a power five job, then they'll do better when they get their group of five job. You know what I mean? All right, next up, Lance Taylor, Western Michigan head coach. All right, so this one, kind of an out there name, but when you do the research, he is from Mobile, Alabama, so definitely fits coming down to South Alabama, would want to get down there. Didn't really have the most success. I think he was like four and eight at Western Michigan this season, so not, I don't know, not the most reason for confidence, in my opinion, if you're trying to make this hire. Uh, but I mean, you could also do worse. Cause like I said, sometimes all people care about is can we hire a sitting head coach? Yes or no. And if you can, whether it's good or bad, it looks good on the resume. Next up, Charles Huff, Marshall head coach. Okay. So has been in Alabama before, was an assistant at Alabama previously. Uh, I don't know if he would make this move, but it, I have seen his name thrown around with a ton of different jobs over the last couple of years. Uh, pretty much every Every job, you'll see his name come up somewhere. So he's definitely trying to get out of Marshall, but I think this is too much of a lateral move regardless. Even if he is from Alabama, I just don't think South Alabama can pay him enough to give him a reason to leave Marshall. All right, next up, I don't always think this name makes sense, but I did see it thrown around a little bit, so I thought I'd add it here. Rich Rodriguez, Jacksonville State head coach, former Michigan head coach, former Arizona head coach. Uh, had pretty good success at the Power 5 level. I don't think it makes sense to leave Jacksonville State, South Alabama, Again, feel like this is a lateral move, and I think he makes more at Jacksonville State than he would at South Alabama. I think he makes close to a million. I don't see South Alabama making that uh, making that pay raise there. Next up, Freddie Roach, Alabama defensive line coach. All right, so definitely an interesting prospect here. Has coached at South Alabama before, been an assistant there, uh, and you can pull in an Alabama guy, which means he's going to have recruiting ties to the Alabama area, can probably pull in some solid recruits, at least bolster the D-line. Uh, but again, some of the names on this list I feel like are a little better, but depends on if you're wanting a guy with head coaching experience or not. If not, Freddie Roach is an interesting prospect, 
uh, him and Tommy Reese both bring in Alabama assistants because, like I said, you bring in that recruiting base from Alabama. So he knows a few guys, maybe a few four stars you can flip somehow. You know, if they're on the lower end, it's possible. All right, next up, T. Martin, Ravens quarterback's head coach. All right, so he was a finalist last time for this job when he worked at Tennessee. Whenever South Alabama came open last time and Kane Walmack got it, T. Martin was also a finalist. So he definitely has interest in this job. Now, I don't know if now that he's in the NFL coaching, if he's moved on from, you know, coaching in college. Sometimes once they make that jump, they're not coming back, you know. But definitely an interesting name. Has ties, was a player as well. Uh, so definitely – an interesting prospect. And like I said, he has been a finalist before, so he already knows probably some of the people at South Alabama might have a foot in the door already. Next up, Trooper Taylor, currently the AM assistant head coach, came over with Mike Elko from Duke, kind of was their interim head coach when Elko left. Uh, so has really been at Duke for a while and has been the interim head coach multiple times, so kind of has experience there. Uh, and it's kind of been around the block. Uh, he did, he did interview for the Duke job, but didn't get it. So he has that on his resume, like I said, that he has been an interim head coach. And at being at A&M, being at Duke, while he hasn't necessarily coached, it, coached at A&M just yet, uh, definitely has won some ball games at Duke. All right, so next up, Brent Deerman, North Alabama head coach. With these jobs, the further you get down the group of five level, don't be surprised if some of these guys start reaching into the FCS level and lower to pull in guys, pull in head coaches, Brent Deerman, another mobile native, all right, so from Alabama and from that particular part where South Alabama is. Uh, didn't have the most success at North Alabama this year, but like I said, sometimes you want to pull, which it was his first year, so it's hard to judge too much, but sometimes they'll want guys with head coaching experience. All right, so let's go ahead and break down this list real quick, mark off some names. All right, so first one we're going to cut off here, Rich Rodriguez. I don't think that's a realistic option. I don't see how they get him in because – yeah, they're just not getting – they're not going to pay more than Jacksonville State is, I don't think. Next thing we're going to cross off, Charles Huff. Similar situation there. While he may want to be in Alabama, I don't think this is the job. The jobs I've seen him apply for that he's been mentioned with are Power 5 jobs, and this just isn't a big big enough step up, as you can see from Kane Womack going to Alabama. Uh, so next thing we're going to cross off here is Brent Deerman. All right, I like the name. And it's interesting. I like seeing guys being able to move up to the FBS level, but hasn't had enough success yet at North Alabama to give me any reason for hope that he would be this higher. All right, next thing we're going to cross off here is going to be, let's see here, Zach Arnett. I don't know how realistic that is. Like I said, he's got Power 5 head coaching experience, so would he make this jump down? I realize he got fired, so possibly. But I think... We'll get to it later, but I think I already know who they're going to hire, but we'll get to that in a second. Next thing we're going to cross off here, Trooper Taylor. All right, I think his time will come, but I don't think South Alabama is the right job for him. All right, next name we're going to cross off here is going to be Freddie Roach. All right, Alabama D-line coach. Like I say, he does have ties to South Alabama, but I feel like there's some better options here. But he's really not a bad choice, but I think there's better options for now. All right, next thing we're going to cross off, T. Martin, Ravens quarterback's coach. While he was a finalist last time, I don't know how much interest he has in the college level at the moment uh, as far as getting back into the college ranks. I think he will eventually, but at the moment, I don't know if he will because they're going to probably try to hire pretty quick here, and he's coaching in the NFL right now, so that kind of makes it somewhat difficult, you know. All right, next thing we're going to cross off here is going to be Tommy Reese, all right, Alabama offense coordinator. I realize he wants to be a head coach, but I feel like he'll hold out until he can get a better job because being the Alabama offense coordinator, you can probably get a lot of the lower tier power five jobs. So I feel like he'll hold out. Now, where is he going to be the OC next? I don't know, but I feel like he'll hold out. But don't be surprised if he does interview for this because he is obviously interested in being a head coach now. Next thing I'm going to cross off, Lance Taylor, Western Michigan head coach. All right, so there are some interesting options here, but the reason they are not picked is because I think you already have the right hire in-house. Don't be surprised if this moves fairly quickly. Out of all these options, out of all these candidates, I think the best one is Major Applewhite, current offense coordinator. And like I said, he has experience as a head coach, had success as the Houston head coach. Also, like I said, has been the OC at Texas, has been the OC at Alabama. So he definitely 
has proven a lot more than a lot besides Rich Rodriguez probably, but that's not a realistic option. He's proven more than anybody else on this list, in my opinion. And I think he's the right hire should be a really good hire. I think, cause you'll get to keep those guys and he's won 10 games before Houston. He's going to be able to win in South Alabama and he's going to be a good head coach. I think this is easy. I think this is who they go with. So who do I think they will hire major Applewhite? Who do I think they should hire major Applewhite? I think it's pretty easy. But who do you think they hire? Who do you think they should hire? Let me know. Comment down below. Make sure to like this video. And most importantly, subscribe.